Hey everybody, stay tuned this week where I'm out and about for my weekly update and I'm talking about the latest Azure news and the tech news from this week. Hey everybody, welcome to this weekly update. Um, for those watching outside and maybe for those on the, the audio version only, you'll be able to tell that I'm outside. It's a glorious day here in Scotland, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to go for a quick walk around this park while it's nice and also give you a different backdrop to look at um, during this weekly video if you're tuning in to the video. For those that are on YouTube, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying this content because there'll be more of it in the future. Um, so yeah, this week um, I have forgot my tripod, so I've had to rig up some kind of um, tree and branch and stone kind of rigmarole to get my camera here. Um, so yeah, it's not an ideal location and there's lots of people walking by, so apologies if there's some background noise. But hey ho, it is what it is and we've got to go with what we've got. Now, in terms of this weekly news, um, it's been fairly quiet, but there are a few pieces that I want to cover off. Um, so the first one is that with Windows Server 2022 going generally available, um, we're now seeing some of the Azure services officially support that. And the first one that we've had an announcement around is the Azure Monitor Agent. So if you're using the Azure Monitor Agent on a Windows Server 2022 box, then it is fully supported and you can run that without any issues. So definitely one to have a look at um, if you're using Windows Server 2022 in your environment. In preview, we've also got a new extension for the Azure Cosmos DB Azure Functions extension. So version 4.0 is now out. So if you're using those two products, definitely have a look at this new extension, see if it can help you, see if it fixes any problems or adds any functionality for your implementation. Now, in terms of the tech news, um, it's been a bit quiet there as well. There was a big Apple announcement. <laughs> um, I'm not a big Apple fan, to be quite honest. I mostly am Android and Microsoft, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, but we have seen new Apple Watches, new iPads, and new phones out. Um, I'm not blown away by any of the features or functionality by any of those new bits of tech. So not something I would be rushing out to necessarily buy. Um, I have a really old iPad here um, and it serves my function very well. Let's me browse some internet when I'm out and about and um, watches um, uses it for downloading things like Netflix and Amazon Prime and stuff like that when we're traveling and watching um, on big screens and stuff can plug it in. So I'm not in the need for any new of these bits of equipment. Now I've probably jinxed myself, my iPad's probably going to break and I'm probably going to have to buy a new one. But hey ho, it is, it is what it is and you know if you're in the Apple ecosystem then you might be excited about some of these new um, devices that are coming out. Also wanted to touch on a, a bit of news around kind of tech and business. So the product or platform Canva, which I use, um, that helps me with um, design templates for social media, for thumbnails, for presentations and stuff like that. Um, it's actually now worth quite a bit. Um, it's actually now valued at 29 billion UK pounds. Um, it's an Australian company. Um, it was founded several years ago um, by an Australian couple or not sure if there are a couple actually um and it's now one of the most valuable startups in the world for what it does and i think they're on target for a one billion pound um, revenue this year as well so it's phenomenal to see these products growing and they say that they have actually grown because of people working at home and side projects and people signing up for their free plan to use their free tier so Exciting to see these smaller companies um, or startup companies actually starting to realise their um, you know, value and, and reach the goals that they have set themselves as well. So if you haven't signed up for Canva, do have a look. It's a great product um, and yeah, I highly recommend it as well. So that's me. Um, it's definitely been a bit of a whirlwind week. I think me forgetting my tripod just sums up the week I have had. Um, I thought Tuesday was Thursday, so I was very confused by some of the meetings that I had. Um, I've had a lot of meetings shuffled about this week as well, so it's not helped me figure out what, what day I'm on. Um, but hey-ho, it's Friday and sun is shining. So have a good one, everybody, and I'll catch you up in my next video.